What's going on guys, my name is Jay and in this quick video I want to teach you about SVG or Scalable Vector Graphics. I'm here using Adobe Illustrator which is an app that uh, designers use um, to create logos and other stuff and it's actually vector based. This is what I have right now, um, I designed this very quickly here and you can see that I have my layers like my glasses here. Um, the face and uh, the circle with a light gray here and that's done. So I need to create an SVG file so I can use it for my website. So I'm just gonna go and click export, export as and you can see here that I already saved my um, SVG file and I saved a PNG file so we can compare this, uh, compare both designs later, okay? So I'm just gonna cancel because I just did it. I'm gonna open this SVG file in my browser and this is how it looks. So right now this is, um, is responsive and you can see that it's huge and it looks perfect. So this is what I like about SVG files, you know. Um, you can put it, um, I don't know, 100 pixels or 1000 pixels or even more than 1000 and it's going to look great. So I'm gonna go and open this SVG file in my text editor. And this is what I got. From Illustrator, I just opened the file. You can see here, I eat web.svg. This is my, my SVG file. And this is what, I, what we have, all right? All this code. And I know this is very scary, like all these uh, numbers and codes and stuff, but don't worry. Um, right now you can see is um, is the SVG tag right here. We have some style, which is CSS. Um, and you will see some different things like fill, stroke, that's coming from the SVG, right? So you can see here we have a circle. This is the first thing we have here. So this circle is, let's go back, is this circle. So we have like this uh, orange uh, stroke and then we have like a very light gray inside of it. So let's go back. And you can see that we have the class of CLS1. You can change this. This is just uh, coming from Illustrator. And you can see they have a fill and it's a very light gray, the fill. And then we have a stroke and this is the hex for that orange. And then we have a uh, stroke. So you can see it's four pixels. So it's very, uh, easy to understand the actual CSS, but now let's go to the SVG um, scary code, right? So we're given the circle, the class, so we are kind of having the CSS here, the color of the circle and everything. And now we have the face and you can see that it says, it says face because I added face in my layer here and glasses too, and you can see that layer three, if you come back here to the code, it says ID layer three. This G is a group. So which means that we have a group of two paths. And all this code, you can see this, all these numbers and letters and numbers are just creating a shape. All right, this is just commands and coordinates and all that stuff. You don't need to understand this right now. Um, but if you want to understand what is going on, there's a link on the video description, click there, and there's a ton of information about this, but don't worry about all this, okay? So we have this path and then we have this class of CLS2, which if we, if we go up, we have the CLS2 and we just have a fill with a color. That's all we have right there. And then if you scroll, we have another path inside that group, the group closed, and then we have another path. And I think this is the glasses, yeah. So if you go down here, we have an ID of glasses. So all these numbers are just telling, you know, creating that shape of the glasses, okay? So what I can do to test it, let's change like, this is the stroke. Let's change the stroke to six pixels, for example. Let's save it. Let's go back. Let's reload. And you can see that stroke just changed. Just like that, all right? 
That's something that you cannot do with a JPEG or PNG file. Um, it is very impressive the first time that I did this, I was um, kind of shocked that I can do this with a design. Let's go back to four pixels here in the stroke, but let's change the, that fill to, let's say black, for example. Let's save it, go back. And there you go. That light gray now is black. Let's do the same thing with the glasses. Let's go back here. So our glasses have a class of CLS3. Let's go up. Let's change them to white. And look at that. So simple, looks good, responsive, perfect, right? So I'm just going to now, instead of using all this code, I, I just want to use this as an image, right? Just a simple image. So here you can see that we have just a simple image, the image HTML tag with a simple PNG file, which you can see here. And then we have the same thing with the SVG file. You can see it here. Both, they look exactly the same right now. But take a look at this. The width of both images are 162 pixels. I'm going to change this to 300 because let's say that your boss, your client, your manager, whatever, um, someone uh, told you to put it a little bit more um, bigger. They want it bigger and you're like, okay, 300. Uh oh. Now you can see the difference between a PNG file and an SVG file. They're both exactly the same size. It's the same thing. The only difference that this one is SVG. And look what's happening to the PNG file. 600. Now look at this. Let's go even further. 1600. Now take a look at the PNG file super pixelated and look at the SVG. Perfect. Right. So I just wanted to let you know that you can use it just like this, just like a simple image. Now I want to let you know, you cannot use all these CSS files that we did here inside here because it's not going to modify all the SVG things, like all the properties and all the things that we have inside this SVG image. But let's go to the SVG inline code. So all I did was I pasted all the code that we have here. All right. And I just came here and pasted it to this HTML file, just like a regular website, right? Just paste it there and we have it there. We have um, the SVG file here. You can see it. And now you can actually use CSS to do whatever you want with it. Remember, if you do it like this, you cannot modify the SVG with regular, you know, your CSS in your website. Okay. Go and paste it in your code in line in your file and you can use it. We can do exactly the same thing that we were doing, like changing this fill and all that stuff. But you know what? I want to animate my SVG file, which is very interesting. Let's rotate a little bit these glasses. So we got this glasses ID. So I'm just gonna do glasses. Oops, sorry, what I'm doing. Here we go glasses animation let's name our animation glasses this can be whatever you want one second infinite there we go and now we're gonna go and create let's scroll down a little bit here let's create our keyframes for glasses Right, and then 0%, 100%. You know what? Let's do 50% and then 100%. So 
So I can do transform, rotate six degrees. Now let's just copy, paste. All right, so let's let's do zero and zero. Whoops, and of course not working because my transform thing is transform. Now you can see that my glasses are moving, which is something very, very interesting. Let's do two degrees only. There we go, I think that's better. All right. So this is, I know this is something very simple, but now you can think how powerful this can be, right? You have control of your logo with every single shape of your logo. So you can do whatever you want with it. You can control the stroke, different uh, shapes. Like for example, my glasses, I, I can have eyes and, and you know make them blink. Like my website, if you go to ieatwebsites.com, Com. So you can see here my logo, like his eyes are blinking. It looks pretty cool and it's very simple. Um, so yeah, just like this, you can make that and, and you know, something very cool. People will ask how you did it and it's actually um, pretty simple. So this is the very basics about SVG and, and SVG animations um, and how you can use them. How you can use them as a uh, you know, regular image, maybe a background of your website, an icon, uh, your logo, a lot of stuff that you can do with SVG. And there is a ton of other things that we can do in SVG can get very complex like this animation. So you can see that this is actually, um, there's a ton going on. But if we go here, we have you know, our normal uh, SVG code. We have some CSS here. And then we have all this JavaScript. So you need to be familiar with JavaScript and how to work with it. Because you, if you wanna create something like this, um, you need a little bit of help, right? From JavaScript and some libraries. You can see that they're using uh, GSAP, and uh, draw SVG. So just letting you know that to create something uh, very complex, you need, you're gonna need a little bit of help from JavaScript. But this has been awesome, and that's it. Subscribe if you wanna keep learning and click on the bell icon to receive notifications every time I upload a new video. Thank you so much for watching. Have a beautiful day. Bye-bye.